right here we are. Ahí estamos, Luce. ¿Vos estás compartiendo en pantalla? A ver, ahí estamos. Ok, here we are. Welcome. Welcome everybody on YouTube to Tuesdays with me, Johnny Lambert, Technique for Leaders. We're here in the Zoom with our students, but uh, we opened up YouTube to be able to share along with you. Uh, what, uh, what announcements do you have for the people, Luce? ¿Qué anuncios tenemos para la gente ahí en, en YouTube? So, uh, now we're starting, of course, Technique for Leaders with Johnny Lambert. Um, tomorrow you can rest. Just one day we give you to rest for, for now. But the day after you have Technique for Followers with Dana Frigoli herself and the wonderful assistants. Uh, Friday you have Musicality, an exquisite class with Raúl Paladino and Caroline Matias. And Saturday is a full day of classes at BNI. As usual, you have yoga with Leah and Stella at 10 a.m. Contemporary dance with Dana Frigoli again, Caroline Matias and Jeronimo Dorcas. A tango advanced with Johnny Lambert again and Dana. And at five, you, you finish the week in the best possible way, preparing a fernet and dancing folklore with Elise and her company. And please, if you are enjoying this content on YouTube, I give you the journey. You go. No, sorry. no. Okay, I go. <laughs> if you are in, enjoying this class um, on YouTube, please consider uh, donating to this uh, fundraising company campaign. Sorry, uh, or sharing or donating. This Embrace Tango Workers is um, created to help DNI Tango teachers and Buenos Aires. Tango workers uh, during these difficult times. If you donate, you're participating for a, a raffle uh, to have a private lesson with one of these amazing uh, names of tango. Javier Rodriguez, Marina Brufman, Moira Castellano, Mariana Dragone, Laura Melo, Pablo Inza, Virginia Pandolfi, Cristian Sosa, Dana Frigoli, John Lambert. That would be it. Back to you, Johnny. Muchas gracias, Dulce. Very good. You're like the, the, the person that uh, speeds up the, at the end of the commercials. I've been okay. practicing. Good. Um, welcome to Technique for Leaders. Yes. <laughs> Technique for Leaders, just for you guys. So uh, what we're going to do first is I would like you to take off your shoes if you have them and you can sit where you are. You can either sit on the ground or on a chair, wherever you like, but I need you to grab your foot. Yes. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab your foot in your hands and you're going to give a little massage to your foot. And we're going to see the different parts of the foot. So while you do that, I will start to show you that we can use the shoe for an example. The sole is going to have uh, three points that we're going to focus on. Between the big toe and the small, uh, the, the big toe, sorry, and the fourth and fifth toe and the heel. So these three points, and if we draw lines between them, these are the arches of the feet. And when we dance, we're using this placement of weight on top of the structure of your foot. Yes, so I want you to grab your foot with your hands and start to recognize the places in your feet. So I have these two points in front and the heel in the back. And just give a massage and feel that it's flexible, your foot. Yeah. You can bring the toes, flex the toes, and try to recognize the places in your foot. And work your way to your ankle and start to realize the flexibility you have in your ankle. Look how it moves in this direction, but then it also moves in this direction. This direction is very important in tango. We're going to see it later in the class. Yes. Esta dirección es super importante en pie. Respecto al tango. Yeah, you can change your feet. <clears throat> Work the toes and back. And then separate the big toe back, the small toe forward. Yeah. So you start to recognize the relationship between these two points here in the front. It's called the transverse arch. Yes, and there's some flexibility here yes, in the toes. It should feel like this and like this. And like this, and like this, and you should be able to bend like this. Yeah? Start to recognize the foot. Very good. So where you are, you can find yourself in the ground and we're going to go to a squatting position. So 
So from the squatting position, what I want you to be able to see is how we're going to go. From the toes, you can use your hands and rock yourself forward. And I want you to start to rock yourselves onto the toes. So the heels are lifting off the ground. And I'm really starting to build into the toes. And now I'm going to try to put all of my foot on the ground, but because I'm going to put my heel down and back. And you're going to start to feel that your sit bones start to go with your heels. And you can sit and squat on top of your heels. Try to find the relationship between your sit bones and your heels. Somebody sent me a chat. Who's chatting with me? Ah, perfect, Anita. Podemos hablar en español. No me di cuenta. No hay problema. Very good. So. Entonces, estamos reconociendo las diferentes partes de los pies. Y estamos viendo cómo empezamos con los dedos. Pasamos pelo del metatarso. Buscando los dos puntos adelante. Y después poniendo el talón en el piso. Se descarga la pierna sobre el pie. Dividiendo el peso por atrás y por adelante. Haciendo eso puedo flexionar y encontrar los esquiones con los talones. So I'm going to flex and I'm going to try to find the sit bones with the heels. Just try to find this relationship. If you have to sit back a little bit or you have to, your heel doesn't completely ride to the ground. It's okay, don't worry. Si no llegan para tocar completamente el piso, no hay problema. Se puede hacer como es el límite de tu cuerpo. Lo importante es ir reconociendo todo el plan de pie. The most important thing here is to recognize all of the plane of the foot. From the little toes, 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 to the ball of the foot, through the, the whole of the foot, into the heel. Oh, yeah, show it from the front. And now from here, you can rock forward and try to feel how your knees project on top of your toes. Trata de ver como las rodillas se proyectan sobre los dedos. No esto, no esto. Try to find the coordination between the big toe and your knees. Now you can put your hands and you can rock and you can move from side to side, going in a circle and trying to warm up the toes. And now as I go back, I put more weight behind and then back forward. And more weight behind until I reach the heels and then back forward. Change the direction. Very good. You continue. I'm going to have a look at you guys. Very good, Peter. Very good. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, you see, you have to work. Hello, Cheryl. Welcome. Anita, muy bien. Perfecto. Eso, Martín. Very good, Rick. Muy buen domingo, Sara. Okay. Very good. Bien. One more time. Entonces, so we go forward onto the toes. And now, please try to find. From the toes, I want you to push your heel onto the ground. Whoa. Now, please look at the difference between that I move my body and that I put the heel on the ground. My body will move. Mi cuerpo se va a mover. Pero solo porque puse el talón en el piso. Cuando llego en el piso, me empujo el piso y extiendo las piernas. So when your heel arrives and you push your heel on the ground, continue to push. And I feel, look what happens. My knee is going to go back. And my hip is going to go forward. From this position, my knee will go back. And look, my hip will start to come forward, yes? The knees go back, the hip starts to come forward, and I stand up. So what we do now is, I'm in a squatting position. I feel all of my foot in the ground. I start to go from the toes through the transverse arch, from the arch that's in front of the foot. I start to push the heel into the ground. Once the heel arrives in the ground, I feel the seat bones and the heels. My heels are going to go back, 
and I'm going to push the seat bones forward. Whew. And my knees are going to go back. The knees go back, the hip comes forward. And all of this comes because of the weight of the heel that goes down into the ground now. Weight of the heel into the ground. And I start to feel how the knee gets pushed back and how the hip can go forward. If I do that, I will arrive. I put the heel in the ground. My knee starts to go back. My hip starts to go forward. If I start to get that, my center is getting pushed forward, but the energy of my lower body stays behind. This is the ideal position for dancing tango. I have position with my partner and I have space below to be able to move my weight. Okay. Any questions about this so far? Hey man. The, the flexibility of your ankles, you know, it looks like you're able to, to, to stay or to, to go flatter much earlier. Is that just something you work on or, or how does that work? Is that just keep going to yoga? Uh, yes, it it's definitely uh, has to do with the flexibility of one person, but um, do it please so I can see you. Yeah. Go ahead and do it. And just put your, your foot completely on the floor. Very good. So now go all the way until your heels on the ground. Put your heel on the ground. Okay, uh, very good. Yeah, and so uh, go ahead and sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. Yeah, sit on the ground, but sit, put your bum on the ground. Yeah, very good. So your heels are on the ground. Okay, and now rock yourself forward. Rock yourself forward. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, there you go. There's your heel. Okay, now try, to, now try to not move your body forward. Try to send the weight of your body on. There you go. Yeah, yeah, send the weight forward. So keep the, yeah, go ahead. Send the weight all the way to the ball of the foot. Your heels will come off the ground, don't worry. Very good. And now just try to push your heels back to the ground. Relax the ankle. Yeah, there you go. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. So you can, did you feel how it, uh huh? There you go. Yes. That's right. Very good. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Uh, so if your physical limitation doesn't allow you to, to squat completely, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you feel the transition of the weight from your heel through the center of your foot to the ball of the foot. Lo que importa es que empiecen a sentir el traslado del peso que está adelante, adelante, se pasa por el medio pie y cuando toque el talón, como traslade eso en una fuerza vertical. So the most important is try to feel how you are putting the weight from the forward of foot front part of the foot to the middle part of the foot to the heel. Once it arrives to the heel, you're sending that force up through your leg into your body. That's the most important part for now. Okay. La vamos a ver ahora. Now we're going to practice this. Okay. Very good. So uh, we'll go to the C. C, C, C. C, C, C. Yes. So you will only see my feet for now. <clears throat> And we're going to do a repetition of last week. So you stand on one quarter and we're going to have three different uh, timings. We have just the strong beats and strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. We have strong, strong, weak, strong, which is strong, strong, weak, strong. Strong, weak, strong. If you prefer numbers, it would be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. That's the first variation. The second one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. And the third variation is the white beats, the strong beats. So it's one full, uh, so it's one strong beat. You let another strong beat go. And on the next one you come. So it's strong, we strong, we strong, we strong, we strong. I have the metronome here. I'll put it. And the timing is set to 54 beats per minute. So this is just the strong beats. So the three variations are 
One, two, three. Strong. Strong, weak, strong. Sorry, one second. It's a little bit faster. Okay. And strong, 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 weak, strong, weak, strong, weak. Very good. So now the second one with the weak beats in between is. Strong, weak, strong, strong, weak, strong, strong, weak, strong, strong, weak, strong, strong, weak, strong. And the whole beat is strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Ooh, sorry. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak. Very good. So we'll do the same thing and we'll speed it up um, and then we'll try it with music, okay? The, the steps are super simple. The point is to be able to coordinate the energy needed to arrive to each position in the quality that you would like. Yes, this, this has nothing to do about doing something right. This is the possibility to simply feel how your body moves when you try to give it an objective, okay? So we'll speed it up a little bit and we'll continue. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Strong, weak, strong, strong, weak, strong, strong, weak, strong. Strong, 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 strong. Strong, weak, strong, strong, weak, strong, strong, weak, strong, strong, weak, strong. Very good. So, give yourself a rest from the musicality part, but we're going to continue with the steps. So I'm going to go very slowly and I'm going to talk a little bit about the processes that my feet are doing. We're going to go very slowly and we're going to see if we can build up some technique that when we continue again with the timing, you'll see some difference, okay? Let me see if this works. I think so. Very good. So, we're stood here. Remember we talked about the two arches. We have the medial arch, the inside arch, and then you have the lateral arch, the one that goes on the outside, yes? I showed you with the boot. Yes, you have the medial arch, the inside one, inside one, and the lateral arch on the outside one. Generally speaking, the inside one is lifting off the ground. There should be some space here. It shouldn't be on the inside. It should be lifting, which means that the outside arch, the lateral arch, should be firm into the ground. Yes. <clears throat> so I'm going to go from the lateral arch to the medial arch remember we talked about the ankle rolling allow the ankle to roll and you roll on to the new ankle going from the medial arch to the transversal arch on to the lateral arch and you should feel the arrival of the leg onto the foot don't worry so much about your body worry about finding the weight of the leg just the leg 
And once your heel rides to the ground, try to make sure that your weight is centered between the front arch and your heel to make sure that those three points are solid in the ground. So I'm transferring from these three points over to these three points. Please look how the ankles are rolling, rolling from one side to the other. Be very careful about your knees going past the foot or inside the foot. No, I'm keeping the knees projected over the toes, but I'm rolling the ankles. I'm rolling the ankles, looking to charge my feet. Remember the exercise we did at the beginning of squatting. I'm moving from all positions of my feet. I'm trying to use all of my foot in the ground. So we go to the side step. I'm going to- Tony, podrías, podrías traducir un poquito, John? Ah, perdón. Español. En español, perfecto. Entonces, estoy rolando. Estoy rolando los tobillos. Nosotros sabemos mucho sobre este movimiento, pero la rolar, a ver, rolar es un movimiento en el tobillo muy importante. Este movimiento de rolar nos permite de cambiar. Eso, Alexandre. Lo que permite esto es el cambio de peso sin mover el eje. So what this, this is allowing is going to allow me to change my weight without necessarily moving my axis. We will see this in a minute. Bien, volvemos. We continue. I'm rolling and I'm receiving first my weight. Please look how I'm in the middle. Miren cómo llego al medio. Estoy en el medio del paso. Y ruedo. Now I'm going to roll again. I'm going to make sure that the weight of my free knee comes to my base leg. Voy a fijar que mi rodilla libre se venga a mi pierna de base. Desde aquí. Desde aquí. Son las rodillas. Son las rodillas que entrega peso adelante. No es el pie. No es el pie. Son las rodillas. Pero ahora, si mis esquiones vienen adelante también, yo me caigo. If my sit bones come forward, I fall. I have to sit my knees forward, but I have to keep my sit bones on top of my heels. Whoop. Find this place from the sit bone to your base leg. Bien? So we went from side, roll, 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 roll. Sin the knees, mandar las rodillas. Mantener las izquierdas por atrás. Cuando llego adelante, when you take the forward step, put your heel. Now put your little toes, looking for the outside spot, buscando esta parte entre el cuarto y quinto metatarso. And now put the big toe. Y ahora pon el dedo gordo. Y lo, lo que estoy buscando es bindar, and I'm trying to like strap from my ankle to my big toe. Watch again, please. I didn't do this. I did this. I went from the knees, the big toes going on the ground, like scratch, uh, scratching the floor. Como rascar el piso. No estoy buscando con el pie. No estoy buscando. Estoy mandando con la rodilla. The knee goes. Boom. I put the heel. The outside of the foot, the small toes, and now the big toe. And now to go forward, the back foot is going to release the heel, sinking the weight to the ball of the foot, and more onto this heel and these two points. Entonces, el talón atrás empuje, las rodillas vengan, y recibe el peso en el talón y los dos puntos adelante en el pie. Y de acá para mover. Now to go back. I push from the front of the base leg into the toes of the back leg. The toes receive it. The heels looking to go to the ground. Cuando llegue el talón al piso, empiezo a retomar el proceso de pie adelante. So look at this process. As the back heel goes down, the front toes release. This is the same as we did here. Look how I roll. As the heel becomes free, I charge the weight. 
And as I charge through, charge the way to the other side, the heel becomes free. And then the heel goes down because I'm pushing with this leg. And now this heel, it's the same thing. Es lo mismo que estamos haciendo, pero por adelante. Talón. Dedo chicos, dedo gordo. El talón atrás se levanta para cargar peso adelante. I have the weight charged on the front leg. I'm fully on my left leg. To go back, I start to push with the front leg onto my toes, not all of the foot. Don't extend the leg. Acá voy recibiendo, flexionando dedos, tobillo. Once my heel has arrived, I start to release the forward toes. Ahora, now, I start to take my foot back like this. Woo. Remember this? Recuerden esto. It's the same whether I'm going forward or going back. It's the same process. Shoom. Shoom. Show you a little bit higher for the knees. We went forward, touch with the heel, the small toes, big toe. I start to push from the back knee. The heel comes off the ground. And reverse. Your reverso. Talón en el piso. Dedos salen del piso. Y ahora, rotación de la pierna. Apertura. Ruedo los tobillos. Look at my rebound. You just rebound the weight from here. So fast. I can be so fast as long as my weight stays in the middle. As long as I'm not using my weight to move my legs. Perfecto. El otro lado. Rolamos. Roll. Rolar. Usar los dedos. Use your toes. The free knee, the way it comes to find each other. For the people in the, were in the class before, the ego. Si estaba en la clase anteriormente, esta es la águila. This is the moment of the ego. And now I rotate, following the knees. Heel. Small toes. Big toe. Use the transfer of the weight from behind. This knee is going to push this knee. La rodilla de atrás. Va a empujar la rodilla adelante. Juntos. Juntos. And now I'm going to try to put my weight divide, divided between the heel and the two places on top. Like an animal, like a, like a, a sheep or a goat that you, has this hoof. I'm going to put the weight on top of my hoof. Boom. And I'm completely on top of this foot. Now to go back, I push the weight from the toes to the heel, to the toes. Please do this. Work on this flexibility. It's very important in tango. Your backward ochos are here. They're not here. This backward ocho is This backward ocho, very good. Yes, you must work on this flexibility in the foot. Es muy importante trabajar la flexibilidad de este pie para recibir desde los dedos metatarso. Talon. Whoop. Very good. So, we go back. Rolling, 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 rolling. Look how the toes become free. Ooh. Very good. So, do it with the music. We'll do it very slowly. And then I will uh, look at you and answer any questions you might have. Después lo miren ustedes. Then it brings that you stretch the standing leg on collection in the side step. Entonces, la pregunta es, si yo estiro la pierna en la apertura. I can, but it's not necessary. So, we take Don't, the side step. Not... Go ahead. Una say? pregunta, ¿puedo? Sí, adelante. Sí, era para estar seguro que eh, hay un instante donde ambos las plantas están en el suelo, con que no está un instante donde uno baja y el otro sube. Hay un instante Ese donde los dos están abajo. Eso se llama medio. Perfecto. So he says, there's a moment that both soles of the feet are completely flat on the floor. This is called the middle. ¿Seguiste? ¿Otra pregunta? 
¿O solo eso? Listo, perfecto. Muy bien. So, Alexandre, you can stretch your leg in the side step or not. Now, I'm going to show you the two structures, the one that we use only the strong beats. And then we have the second structure that we use the strong and weak beats. Which one do you think I will have time with to stretch my leg? Only the strong beats, the longer time. So if I want to do a rebound, maybe it's better I don't stretch my leg. Or it's maybe better to have already have stretched it. I don't know. This is the thing about tango. There's no real right answer to your question. But the thing is, you must be able to do both. Because if you're able to do both, the music will dictate whether you stretch or whether you keep it bent. Okay, but I will show you now as well. So we're going to try to follow Alexandre's question. Eh, él tuvo una pregunta. ¿Le estiro la pierna en la apertura? ¿Se puede? Pero si yo quiero hacer un rebote, por ejemplo, que es la segunda opción, no me conviene quizás estirar la pierna. O me conviene haber tenido estirado antes. ¿Sí? So now I'll show you a little bit of these questions. Please follow along. I'm going to repeat three or five times the first structure, the second structure, and the third structure. Feel free to do it yourself or copy with me. We'll go very slowly so I can try to show you the details that we just worked on. Entonces vamos más lento porque pueden trabajar los detalles que acabamos de trabajar. Please try to pay attention to your feet. Okay. And strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Still a little fast. We we'll go slower still. The slowest as possible. And. Strong, weak, strong. 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 And now we'll go all the white beats. And strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Very good. You guys continue. I'll watch a little bit. Very good, Alexandre. Very good. Move your shoulders less. Don't worry about, being, about moving your body. Worry about moving your weight. Before you come forward with your shoulders, allow your knees to flex a little bit more. And go forward. Go ahead. Go ahead. Your knees. Yeah. From there. Very good. Don't come more forward. Allow your knees to re Yes. There you go. You, it's not about moving your body forward. It's about advancing your weight onto your foot. Yes, there you go. Yes, move your weight. Very good. That's it. Yep, 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 yep. Very good, Alexandre. Very good. Excellent, Robin. Take some more time. Let your feet, let your feet receive your weight before your body moves. Very good. Charge the weight in your foot. Be yes, very good, Robin. There you go. Now you're slowing it down. Very nice. Excellent, Marley. Yes. Yes, release the weight onto your ankle. Your yes, very good. Excellent. That was excellent, Marley. Find your feet. Very good, Peter. Yes. Peter, before you move your hip back, push between your feet. 
So one, so go forward, go to the forward step. Stop there, very good, stop, stop, stop. So you sit your body forward, go back please. Go back, okay, don't move your body forward, just sit your knees, just sit your knees. Okay, very good, stop, stop there, stop in the middle. Go back, okay, stop there. Wait, stop, <laughs> stop there, stop. <laughs> okay, you're gonna push your, your front leg back, but it's not going to be able to go back because your back leg is going to stop you. It's going to push your forward leg. Yes, so you get stuck in the middle because your forward leg is pushing at you and your back leg is also pushing at you. You feel it? Now allow your right, your forward knee just to flex a little bit, just a little bit, so it wins. Yeah, it wins a little bit. It sends the weight forward. Yeah, and, allow, and now allow your knee to keep bending forward until you arrive. There you go. Now stay there and stretch your back leg. There you go. Yeah, very good. And now receive the weight on your back leg because your knee starts to bend. There you go. Very good. Repeat that again, please. That was excellent. Keep going. Let me see who's over here. Anita. Viendo. Okay. Anita, eh, do one thing for me. Eh, hacer una cosa. Muy bien. Cuando vas a adelante con tus rodillas, poner, poner tu mano en tu cola y sentir que cuando vas adelante con tu rodilla, sentís algo que empuje tu mano para atrás. Ahí está. Hacer apertura. Perfecto. Seguí. Perfecto. Ahí está. Y ahora, ahora bajar el peso. No la avances. Baja. Vas a avanzar, pero porque bajas. Eso, baja, a tu pie, a tu pie. Eso, y encontrar, eso, y encontrar el pie en el piso, encontrar esos tres puntos. Mucho mejor, mucho mejor. Ahí lo sentiste, ¿no? Muy bien. Excelente. A ver, Shadow. Very good, Shadow. And stop there. Okay, Shadow, it's very good. It's the point of contact that you make with the very first part. So take a side step and just touch the ground with your big toe. Just there. So don't change any weight. Yeah, just there. So I know it's I know you have your 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 particularities, but use the inside of the arch and try to find your heel before any of your body moves. Yes. So there's like a stretching in your leg, in your foot, sorry. And yeah, and now use that stretching in the foot to, to, to transfer the weight through the leg. Yes, there you go. So it's a little bit more progressive. And it's from that very first moment that you touch the ground. But you're you're excellent, Sheldon. Very good. Lots of improvement. Martin. Eso. Ok, Martín, algo te va a ayudar. Es no cruzas tanto tu línea. Ahí te muestro. So, Martin was doing something like this. He takes the side step, and now he's like crossing the line. It's not that you can't do it, but it's very difficult. No como lo puedes hacer, pero es más difícil. Tratar de abrir, abrir más abierto que tu propio pie, en lugar de cruzarlo. Mantener dos carriles abajo tuyo. A ver, show me that please. Eso, rodillas. Bien, bien. Estás llevando muy rápido el pie. Trae primero la rodilla. Va la apertura. Eso, rodilla, rodilla, rodilla. Perfecto. Mira, Martín. So look this, please. Martín is doing this. He's taking the side step. And now from here, he's sending the leg straight forward. But I want the leg to rotate so that the knees come together. Yo quiero ver cómo el femur se rota para que se junten las rodillas. Porque es importante que el peso de parte inferior está ubicado sobre los pies y en frente de tu cuerpo. It's important that the weight of the lower body, which is represented by the knees, is in front of you and pointed to your point of contact with the ground, which is over here. ¿Sí? Si esta rodilla está mirando por acá, por allá, por acá, no está conmigo. I need that this knee is with me. And now my center and my knee are going to travel to the same place. A ver, Martín. Eso, bien ahí. Bien, rodillas juntos. Ahí está. Mucho mejor. Much more, bien. Y ahora, Martín, una cosita más. Excelente. Much, much better. Please watch what I do with the foot. Mira lo que hago con el pie. Estoy exagerando. But I look for this outside part. 
And now, I don't just put the toe on the ground. It's not this. Lo que trato de hacer es sacar desde el talón y bendar, bendar el dedo gordo, afirmando en el piso desde el talón. No estoy yendo para adelante. No estoy yendo para allá. Yo estoy yendo para ahí. I'm looking to cover my foot in this direction, not in this direction. So I put the heel on the ground and I roll onto my leg and I push onto the ball of the foot from the heel. Entonces estoy empujando al dedo gordo desde el talón. Y desde el dedo gordo al talón. Y talón al dedo gordo. Y dedo gordo al talón. A ver, Martín. Eso. Eso. Mucho mejor. Very good, Rick Harris. Excellent. Do it again, please. Shorten your step. Uh, think there's no points for going forward. Think there's more points for lowering your weight onto the ground. Imagine that this, the floor you're standing on is one big scale. And when you step on the forward step and you start to charge your weight, look how that number goes progressively. And when you arrive forward and you bend your forward knee, break the scale. That's your heaviest point. Dude, so you're following your knee, following your knee, and now push onto that foot. Whoa, yeah, and now recover back. Whoa, very good. There you go, man. Take all of your weight with you at all of the time. Very good, Rick Harris. Much better. Very good. Don't be afraid to involve your upper body. It's a little stiff. Don't be afraid to involve your weight of your upper body. Yeah, there you go. You can even imagine leading something if you like. Excellent, Domingo. Eh, Domingo, estás pensando muy adelante con el pie. Trata de rolar el pie adelante. Tocar el talón, dedo afuera y ahora taparlo. Eso. Mucho mejor. Much better. Let's see. Who else we got? Primos. Yeah, man. Very good. Okay. Forget about your shoulders. Go back and just go, go to the middle. Just go to the middle. Okay. Now, try to go to your left side, but don't allow yourself. Imagine that you want to go to the... Imagine you want to go to both sides at the same time. Oh, you're stuck, right? And now let one win just a little bit. Just, just let, no, that's one winning a lot. Let one side win a little bit. There you go. Yes. There you go. So when you want to come to one side, you're still holding it. There you go. And now when you want to come forward, there's also somebody who wants you to go back, right? There you go, Primos. Yes. There you go. Much better. Anita. Excellent. Domingo Sara. Matt Jackson. Robin, Marley. Okay, you guys are wonderful. Fantastic. Okay, so we'll solve this for a minute. And I'm going to put a tango on, and it will be more or less the same speed. So what you were hearing was just the strong beats. But don't forget, there's also... Yes, because these are just the strong beats at 50 beats a minute. But if I were to put 100 beats a minute, now you're hearing the strong and weak beats. So I'll show you what it looks like. Strong, 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 big, strong, strong, big, strong, strong, big, 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 strong. Strong, 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 weak and strong. Okay, so I'll put a song on now, a tango, and just try to find yourself in the in the the boringness of the monotony of just the strong beat and the weak beat. But use that as a limitation and try to fill it out with your body. Try to notice that there's a difference between stepping on the beat, stepping slightly before the beat, stepping slightly after the beat. Yes, try to find that. Play it as a game. Let go of the idea that there's something right or wrong with this. Yes, if you lose the music, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yes, so I'll put the song on now. Uh, please enjoy. <laughs> Okay. 
One second. ¿Cómo lo vieron? Muy lindo, muy, muy lindo. A diferencia de la semana pasada, están mucho más cómodos. So he says that everybody is much better from last week. And then he left. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. No te escucho, José. Que esta semana se nota el trabajo, están llegando mejor con la música y la técnica. Eso. La al trabajar la, la música se abandonaba la técnica completamente. Yeah, so he said that the musicality and the comp uh, and being comfortable with the technique improved a lot. Very good. Does anybody have a question until now? I don't think so. It's quite uh, it's quite good. Everybody is making improvement. Uh, yeah, Cheryl, you have a question? Go ahead. Um, I don't really understand um, when I put my weight on my heel when I'm taking the forward step. If I'm first going the inside, then to the, the little toe, is the heel reaching when the little toe is, is before. reaching? Before. Oh, before. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's like it, so this is your knee. And think about, so many people send the foot, but I want you to think about sending the knee and then letting the leg extend from the knee. Now, the first thing that's going to reach is the heel. Okay. And I'm going to put the heel, and I'm going to put the outside of the foot, and then I'm going to put the big toe, and then I'm going to wrap from the heel on top of the foot. Show me, please. So, uh, okay. go, to, uh -huh. so go to the side step. So, side step, and now feel the weight of the free knee. Feel the weight of that knee. Good. And now let the weight of that knee push you forward, but keeping your sit bones back. There you go. And you're going to feel that your foot will naturally start to release. When you feel that, allow your center to come forward with your back knee, and that should bring you to your heel. So uh, go, go back a little bit and try to straighten the leg when you come forward. So you have the heel there, straighten the leg when you come forward. 
Uh huh. Hey, can you turn to the side? I can't see the profile. There you go. Thank you. So she takes a side step. Go ahead. Go again, please. Take a side step. So there's the weight of the free knee. Very good. Yeah. Now, sin the center before you send the foot. No, the foot went too far. So start to send the center. There you go. And now the foot goes and uh, touch with the heel first. You're touching with the toes first. Go back. So really exaggerate and lift the toes. Just touch with the heel. With just with the heel and lift the toes up. One more time. Go back and lift the heel. Uh, lift the toes. Lift, lift so when you go back, put your heel on the ground and lift your toes. Heel on the ground there and lift the toes. Very good. Now feel. And now when you when you start to put the small toe on the ground, so you put your heel on the ground. Yes, and now you start to put the small toes on the ground. That will bring all of your weight forward exactly like that. Do you feel it? Yeah. There you go. Very good. Now it's when the same thing when you go back. Put the weight on the ball of the foot and follow the trajectory of the weight in your foot and feel how that pulls your body back. There you go, there you go. And your center is always resisting a little bit to this. Entonces, está muy bueno lo que está mostrando. Ahí le muestro mi cuerpo. I will show it in my, in my body. So, when we go to the step, any step, now we'll see the side step. I have two options. I can use my body and use my axis to change the weight. Or I can use the weight of my body. I'm going to change the weight that's in this foot and I'm going to put it in this one. And if I do that, my body will come. But many people want to move the body and then bring the weight. And this is very inefficient for tango. Es muy ineficiente esto. Entonces, vamos a uh, cruz adelante. Take a side step. I feel the weight of the free knee. Siente el peso de la rodilla libre que está viniendo. Tengo que mandar el peso que tenga ahora en esta pierna. All of my weight is now in this leg. And somehow I have to be able to transfer to this leg without sending my body. ¿Cómo lo hago? Mando el peso desde la rodilla para abajo. Ahí va la rodilla. Y el pie como el último toque el talón. Pero está volviendo a mí. Y ahora, si simplemente afloco los dedos hacia el piso y ablando la rodilla, ya mi peso está escapando para adelante. So if I just release the toes to the ground and release the weight of the knee, this will start to take me forward. It will start to take me so much forward that now I have to be careful and keep myself behind. Si yo aflojo esto y mi rodilla va para adelante, me tengo que cuidar tanto que voy adelante que me tengo que pensar en quedarme atrás con las secciones. Talón, dedos, rodilla. Si mis sesiones van por delante ahora, estoy frito. I can't allow my sit bones to come forward now. I have to keep the sit bones back, but I allow the knee to go forward. The knee goes forward, but the hip stays behind. And now I can send the knee back and the hip forward. Okay? Good? Muy bien, Cheryl. Gracias por la pregunta. Okay, so we're going to continue, um, and I want to show you we're going to focus on the number two, yes? So we did strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, strong, weak. It's that weak beat that I want you to pay attention to now. Everybody now more or less knows how to hit the strong beat. It's in this weak beat that I want to play with because it's in this weak beat that the pivots will happen. Es en ese tiempo débil que generalmente suceden los pivots in, in el tango. Yes, so we're going to focus on that weak beat and try to uh, start to distinguish it from the music. Yes, so we can be very clear when it is. Entonces, vamos a hacer it. I put the metronome again, and we have bam. This will be more or less. No, we'll put it like this. And in your mind, you have to say strong, weak, strong. Yes, but the, the metronome will play this. And inside you have to be able to dance. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Yes? So I'll show you and you repeat after me. We'll go quite slowly at the beginning. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, 
weak, strong. So what we're going to do is every time we go forward, one second. every time we go forward, we say strong, weak, strong. This weak beat, I want you to bring the foot together or make a tap or go voleo or whatever you like. But in the two, you must occupy the two with something with your free leg. So we have strong, weak, 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 strong, weak. Okay? Show you with the metronome. Strong, weak, strong, weak. Strong, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak. Now you continue, I'll watch you. Strong, weak, strong. A little fast, Matt. Keep going, Alexandre, you can do it. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Much better, Alexandre. Okay, I think it's uh, more difficult for you with the metronome. We'll put a tango on and um, try to find the moments that the music tells you what to do. The structure is very simple. You just keep walking. Side step, forward step, back step, side step, forward step, back step. Siguen repitiendo el patrón. Pero fíjense que hay una propuesta musical. Try to find the musical proposal that allows you to not have to think, that allows you to let go of the structure. But try to make sure that you're stepping either a strong beat or a weak beat, and you know what you are stepping, okay? Entonces, lo más importante del ejercicio es que ustedes saben en qué están pisando. Un fuerte, un débil, un fuerte. ¿Sí? Ya tienen los ritmos, se pueden seguir ustedes. So, put the music and you try. If you need inspiration, you can watch me. Si necesitan inspiración, lo pueden mirar a mí y le voy a estar haciendo el ejercicio con ustedes. Man, me casa todos los chistes. <risa> ¿Todo bien, amor? Che, ¿querés que practiquemos los diálogos juntos? No, que sé, que sé que me vas a echar así. Es un principiante. Sí, yo no sé cómo. Strong, weak, strong. Strong, weak, strong. José, tenés abierto el micrófono.
Okay, very good, everybody. Let's continue. So, on the two, I was having you mark the beat. One. Why? Because this is the moment that most pivots will happen in tango. So, what we're going to do now is let me redraw my seat. We have strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. In those weak beats, now we're going to do strong, weak, 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 strong, oh, sorry, strong, weak in the pivot, strong in the side step. Weak in the pivot, strong in the back step. Weak to right forward, weak to make the pivot. So in the weak beats, we're going to make a pivot. And in the strong beats, I'm going to rebound on the back foot. When you make the rebound on the back foot, try to feel, remember the ball of the foot to the middle of the foot to the heel, finding all of the arches. It's good. If you need to, if you're finding it sticky on the floor, you can put a sock or a shoe or whatever you like, what you like. Very good. Try to make sure that you're hitting the strong beats again after your pivots. Okay. Um, I'm going to go very slowly with the metronome so that you avoid doing things like this. Vamos a ir lento con el metrónomo para que eviten de hacer estas cosas. Traten de evitar de llegar y hacer el pivot por torsión de torso. Traten de hacer que la rodilla llegue adelante. So try to please find the weight of the free knee forward and push the leg to take you to the pivot. Please don't make the pivot from the base leg and then try to push the free leg. Try to feel how the weight of the free leg comes to you. The eagle, I start to close it and now I start to open it. And this is what takes me to the pivot. Okay? Do it very slowly at the beginning. Dulce, pase como vamos. Super. Muy bien. Muy bien. Strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Step, pivot, 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 step, step. Step, pivot, step, pivot, step, pivot, step. Continue, I want you. Very good. So as you continue doing this, please try to see what happens to your torso. So if you look at my C, Again. So I'm dancing inside this little box. If I put an X in the middle of the box, my center is always looking to stay here. So when I make an ocho over to this side, my center is looking here. And when I make an, make an ocho over to this side, my center is looking here. Okay? Entonces, fíjense que cuando haces el ocho para atrás, que llega aquí acá atrás, tu centro igual sigue mirando por adentro. ¿Ok? A ver, Martín. Ok, Martín, un segundo. Vos estás girando la cadera. 
Okay. 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 Okay, perfecto. So, uh, everybody speaks English now again. Uh, very good. Martín, be careful of moving your hips. Cuidado con mover las caderas. De acá, primero apuntar las rodillas. So, from here, first, collect the legs. And now, bend and push the free leg far away from you. And let it go behind your body but don't allow a pivot to happen. Now, as it goes here, the leg will want to go far away, but instead of allowed to go far away, once it starts to go behind your body, let the knees, let the knees come together. So I'm going to start pushing out, and now I let the knees come together, I lift the heel, and that takes me to a pivot. Allow the weight of your free leg to take you to the pivot. Ooh, I need the chart. Come together and the leg takes you to the pivot. Discharge the weight, come back forward, flex the knees again together, the looking, and we go to the side step, roll the weight from the beginning of the class, roll the weight, and then knee goes forward. Here I can go to a forward step, or I can take the weight of that knee and I can send it behind my body. But please look at my chest. It's still here to the center to where my partner would be. Okay, one more time with that. I'll put a song, I'll watch you guys, and you can uh, change between them. You can have the, the three different musical sequences and you can add a backward ocho or not. Yes? Tony? Yes. Can I ask a question? Of course. When you do, when you project the foot forward, then it's quite easy to get around. But if you don't start with the projection forward, where do you get the weight to turn you? But why would you want to go backward without having a forward energy? So this is the point. So it, it, I understand what you're saying. But if yes. I send, so when I send my knee forward at the beginning, the counterweight to that is my sit bone behind. If I send the knee directly back, what is my forward energy? Because now I have my sit bone behind, but I also have my knee behind. Watch, it looks like this. I take the side step. If this knee doesn't come forward, if it already starts to work behind, you, maybe you can see. If it starts to work behind, my center is already falling outside of my axis. I have to bring the weight of that onto my foot first. This is what's behind, this is what's forward, and this is what's behind. You understand? So when I want to send the leg around, I can't send the leg directly behind. This is what was happening to Martin. It's not useful for me. I have to flatten it and open it underneath me. Okay? It makes sense? It makes sense, but Johnny, when you do it, you don't actually project forward. You just, you, 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 may, you may get your knee forward, but you definitely don't get your foot forward. No, 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 the foot, I have not, not, the foot must stay behind. Okay. The projection of the knee is important, not the foot. Okay. So the, and what is real, reality happening is the weight of your knee, the weight of your knee is pulling. You can see it in the pants, is pulling the hip. So this is what is extending forward. So when I go to the side step, I arrive to the side step, the weight of this knee wants to pull my hip forward, you see? It wants to pull it. Now, I could let it go, but I don't. I hold it back through the base leg, through the flexion of the base leg. When I flex my base leg and I connect my seat bone to my heel, now I can send this leg as forward as I like. It's okay because I'm strong in my axis. It's the pushing of the knee away from your hip. This is what allows, this is what allows for this. Okay. Thank you. No, thank you. Buena okay. pirueta, eh? Muy buena pirueta. No, muchas gracias. Very good. A ver, Sara Domingo, bien ahí. Very, muy bien. Muy bien, Sara, ¿cómo estás encontrando el peso de tu rodilla adelante? Muy bien. Rick, very good. Ah, okay, you found some weight, man. Very good. Yeah, excellent. Very nice, man. Yeah, much better your feet. Yeah, very good. I like it. Okay. So we're going to go back and re revise uh, something we did a couple of weeks ago, which was the turn. 
We saw how you can turn by displacing or how you can turn twisting underneath yourself. Don't worry, I'll show you again, okay? Uh, very quickly, I'll review with my body and you can see it and then we'll talk about it, okay? So a turn, I have side sit, back cross, side sit, forward cross, pivot and then side sit. Yes, and we can repeat it to the other side. And this is one type of turn. I'm displacing, I'm using full steps. Okay? The other type of turn is I'm gonna put myself inside the box. And I'm going to take a side step but now I'm going to rotate my body. I take a side step. And now I'm going to rotate my body, but not move my hips. My hips are going to want to keep looking forward and eventually I will cross myself. I'll show you the feet now. We take a side step. And now I start to rotate and a cross happens underneath my body. Now I simply uncross, side step. Now I continue to twist and I make a back cross underneath myself. I untwist and make a side step. And now I go back, cross, side, cross, side, cross. So the two turns are on the outside we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the inside we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. This is the basic structure. Anybody have any questions about it? You understand it, yes? Theoretically. Very good. So what I want you to do in your body, we'll do it with no music, no, no, no specific timing, and then we'll try to incorporate specific timings. But go between both and realize what happens in the body. Realize how much displacement there is between one turn and the other. Okay, go ahead, I'll watch you. Yes, Peter, change the weight. Yeah, and there you go, very nice. And uncross, very good, and cross your upper body, very nice. Can, can you put the camera on your upper body, Peter, please? Pretty please, Peter, please. Very good. Okay, good. Excellent. So now start to rotate on. Yes, very nice. And now, uh -huh, and now keep rotating your upper body. So there you took your leg out before, but keep rotating your upper body. Yeah, yeah, and keep rotating. That will take you to the side step. And now keep rotating your upper body until the back step. Keep going. Yeah, you, did you feel it? That was very good. That was very, because you kept rotating your body, your, your knee showed up in front of you. And because your knee was in front of you, you did the back cross. If you don't follow your body, You'll try to take out your leg, but it won't work. Do it again, please. Keep following your upper body. Yes, keep following it. Keep following it. Keep following it. Yep, keep following it. Yes, yeah, side step and keep following it. And there's the back cross. Back cross. Back cross. Okay, keep going. Yeah, side step and back cross. Yeah, and side step. And change the direction. Now rotate to the other side. Use your chest. There you go. Very good. So there you're using internal rotation. Now go back to the, to, to, to the displaced turn and try to feel that your body does more or less the same thing. Feel your weight underneath you, yes. And if I feel how your body, yeah, there you go. Yes, keep twisting your body, keep twisting. Yeah, 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 your legs will move farther, but keep going. Okay, wait, <laughs> that was very good. Do it again, please, do the displaced turn. Yes, very good, and back, very good. Now keep, there you go. Very good, Peter. There you go. You understood perfectly. Good. Practice both of them, please. Well done, man. Matt Jackson, I'm watching. So try to establish your big toes on the ground. When you go to the back cross and, and try to let your knees come a little bit closer together when you arrive to the maximum of your, of your uh, backward ocho. So go ahead. The knees are forward. There you go. Yeah, bring your knees a little bit closer together. Don't put your heels so quickly on the ground. Just put the big toes and go very progressively. 
just the big toe, just the big toe, just the big toe. Yeah, now you're going too fast. So watch me, please. The moment that the big toe touches the ground, you're going directly onto the, to the, to the heel. I want you to charge the toes. So I'm going to charge the toes onto the ball of the foot. And now as the heel arrives to the ground, I'm bending, bending the back leg to be able to receive my weight on top of the leg. What you're doing is you're going directly on top of the foot. And I want you to charge the foot with weight. Progressively charge. Show me that, please. Yes, much better. Good. Now, good. Stop there. Stop there. Stop there. Go back. Go back. Go back to the middle and stop there. Very good. Now, push your hands forward as your front knee pushes your back knee back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, very good. And now as you ride to your heel, push your back, keep pushing your hands forward. As you ride into your heel, feel your, yes, feel, there you go. There, don't tell me you didn't feel that. That was awesome. Do it again. Good, so you go back with the toes, ball of the foot. There you go. Excellent, that leg's free. Very good, repeat to the other side. Robin Marley, I'm watching. Very good, excellent. Very good, Robin, it seems like a minor detail, but if my head is forward like this, I'm never gonna turn around a straight axis. I'm always turning around something that's curved. It's not that you can't do it, but Marley will go very far away from you. There you go, yes, use your back. That's much better, very good. Excellent, much better, Marley. Your dorsals are much better, they're much more firm. Very good, wonderful. Alexandre. Yeah, yeah, very good, man. There you go. Okay, so Alexandre, I want you to, to mash up. I want you to mix the two turns because you're doing the displaced turn very good, but it's very like boxy. Try to mix the second turn. It's very good, you're doing great, but try to mix the second turn in that box shape. Try to feel how the box is created by your internal rotation. Very good. So you find, yeah, excellent. Uh huh. So that's the second turn. Yeah, very good. There you go. Yeah, and keep following it around. There you go. That's better. And keep rotating. Okay, excellent. Very good, Alexander. Very good. Good practice. Very good. Cheryl, when you cross in front of you, I love it. Just try, um, it, you might be doing it as an effect, which is fine. But instead of a sit down, when, when you arrive to the lowest part, yeah, go ahead. There, very good. Yes, try, very good. Try to feel if you can go down with your base leg, but go up with your upper body and free your right leg. Free your, there you go. And free the leg, free the, there you go. Beautiful. That was wonderful. Well done. Very useful. Excellent, Rick. Okay, so Rick, there's, there's something, uh, try to do this with me. You're doing great, man. I love it. Take your palms and, and sit in your hands as if it's you're like sitting on a swing. So you really feel the weight of your, your, your sit bones in your hands. And now go back to your square. And when you take the side step, once you start to flex the base leg, try to feel how you sit into your hands. And you really, really sit. And try to feel that from your hands, you can hold your spine. Very good. Now feel how your spine is independent of your legs. You feel it, right? Because your spine is being held by your, by your arms. Take your arms away for a second. You, do you feel it? You feel how your spine got lost? Now go back and grab your spine again with your hands. Very good. So you got it now. Now slowly you're going to take your hands away, but you're going to make sure that what was in your hands, you put onto your feet. You're going to make sure that your spine that you were holding. Yes, very good. And now use your legs to transport your spine. You're going to relax the shoulders a little bit. You're going to open up your neck from behind. There you go. Yeah. And now let the legs move. You, you can take the forward step. You can do uh, whatever uh, sequence you like. Yeah, very good. And keep trying to feel how your legs are transporting your spine. Don't leave your spine behind. It gets stuck behind a little bit when you go forward. Let your knees bring your spine. There you go. There you go. Yeah. There, much better. You feel how the free, leg, free knee is, uh, is uh, clearing up sooner? because now you can bring it from your spine. Feel how you stretch your spine when you go back. There you go. Yes, much better. Excellent, well done, man. Okay, very good. So I want to see one last thing before we finish the class. 
um, we're going to do this. It's called a uh, hip rebound, but it doesn't matter the name. What matters is I want you to feel how your lower body can go past your upper body. It looks like this. I have my C, take a side step, change like we did last week and like we did with the broom. One, two. I'll traction, my, knee, my elbows go back, my knees go forward. So I'm going to do like we did last week to make a forward ocho. Yes, I can do. But instead of making the forward ocho, I'm going to start here and I'm going to keep my hip on this side, and my, sorry, my chest on this side, bring my hip past it as if I'm going to make a pivot, but then go back to where I came from. So everything together looks like this. One, two, three, four. Five, four, five. The point of this hip is going to come across my body to see the camera, but my chest kept looking at the camera all the time. Ooh, and then my hip goes back and I make the step. So it's a rebound of a hip. It comes forward and it goes back. It comes forward and it goes back. And it comes forward and it goes back. Please look how the knees come together, make the pivot together, go back together, and then separate. Huh? So we go to the other side, and one, two, my body stays looking to the opposite direction that I go. I bend just like any other forward step, but I add a rotation to the knees, and now I go back. This position is the same one that we did to do the backward ocho. It's the same thing. So I went forward, brought the knees together. We did this, we did strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Now we're doing strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Huh? And here we go. Strong, weak, strong, Weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak. Yeah, we'll repeat it again. Uh, one more thing. With the arms, I had the broom before. I'm tractioning. My body's on this side. My hip is looking here, but my chest is looking here. If I keep going here, this is what, this torsion is what brings my hip. I don't have to do anything strange with the legs. I just have to allow my hips to come back past my body. And now I push the hips back to where they came from. I bring the hips and I push the hips. I bring the hips and push the hips. Look at my hands. Are my hands moving? No. It's all from the lower body, nothing from the hands. The dorsals are fixed, expanded. Whew. One more time. One, two, three. Like we saw before, I flex the knee forward. The back leg starts to give me the weight. I'm using this to go around. I fix the dorsal, bring the hips, push the hips, move the dorsals. And other side, one, two, Three, I keep following this curve as if I'm gonna do a forward ocho. Once my hip comes, I stop it and I sit it back. Yeah? So we do much you know. Last exercise, you guys are doing great. so slow we'll do it with some music and we're going to finish the class anybody have any questions about this yeah man i got a question for you boss um it, 
kind of a fine point, but I think for control, it's important. I'll show you. Um, when you're doing this, right, you come forward, and, and I get like the impulse you told us before was kind of down and in. We're kind of digging in here, right? We come up and the hit comes up very easily. Okay. So, but now to, to go back, it's like other doors. We're using the broom in reverse now, kind of, to push this back, right? Okay. Now, watch, but watch this though. So, I'm here and I'm going to use this broom to push me back, right? I can stay over my axis here and rotate all the way, right? Mm -hmm. When you start to put the weight at risk, right? Because if I put the weight at risk now, it's like I don't, I don't get that char charging the step thing. It's just a fine coordination, you know. So, so what, I, what I would like to is there's this and there's this. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. when did the weight start moving? Which one did you prefer? Well, the first one, but it was dead. Like the step is dead. Okay, so yeah. so. So it's very good. It's, it's good the question you're asking. Now, what is a rebound? What is a rebound? Well, it's... Yeah. It's something that goes right. and comes back. Right. Right. And, this, and there's a relationship between those two things. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called a rebound. It would just be called that went there, then it stayed, and then eventually came back. But that's not what we're referring to. We're referring to that the going and the coming are related to each other. So this okay. is a rebound of the hit. So when you send the energy to go, exactly. So make, do that, do, do that again, please. Everybody can do this. We'll make a rebound. We can open and close. And open and close. And open and close. Or open and close. Or throw and come down. Whatever you want to do. But make sure there's a relationship between the thing that went and the thing that came back. If you don't, then it can die. So Matt is going to show us now that with this, woo, woo, he's going to be able to do the rebound of the hip. Here he goes. And there you go. So bring, work about bringing the knees together. So push your knees uh, past, very good. So push your knees past the center line of your body. I'll show you what that means. Where's my room? Here's the center line of my body. So my hips are going to pass the center line of my body, but my chest doesn't go with my hips because that's the center line of my body. So if I keep my center looking this way and my hips looking sorry, the other way, yes, the, the hips cross the center line of my body. So one, two, three. So as I write here, there's the center line, you see it? My hips are going to pass the center line of the body and then go back. The hips pass the center line and go back. Pass the, the weight line. always stays Sorry? The, the weight always stays at risk. It's always hanging a little bit. And that adds the, the, so the dynamic like return, basically. Uh, yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm charging. So the rebound part of it is in this leg. I'm pushing and coming back. Pushing. Right, right. Yeah, right. This is independent of what my hip is doing. I'm coming and going back. My weight's coming okay. forward and it's pushing back. We agree that if you came here and stopped, <laughs> what's going to get you out of the axis? You can do it, of course. You can come and stop here and then use your leg to come out, but it's much more difficult. So I send my body forward and my body back. This is the rebound part of it. And my hip is just doing the motion of coming and going back. Now watch this, please. If I make the same movement of the rebound in my body, but I made the full pivot. Oh, look, <laughs> I made a forward ocho because it is also a rebound, just with a pivot in the middle. You understand? It's a different way of thinking about it. So we come forward, center line of the body. I push forward, bring the knees past, and I push the knee behind. And it's the free leg that's making the pivot. The free leg makes the pivot. If you're doing something like this, no, or something like this. No, it's the weight of the free leg that makes the pivot. Very good. Okay, so we'll put one more song. I'll dance a little bit. You dance a lot. And uh, I'll watch you a little bit, okay? And we'll go to close the class. Thank you for being here, everybody. Welcome. You guys are doing great. <laughs>
We have time for one question. Sorry? If we have one short question, Johnny. Okay, go ahead. When, when you enter the rebound, you probably close the eagle, right? I close what? The elbow? The, the eagle, the eagle. Close the eagle, let me think. Yeah, the, the bird. <laughs> uh, yes, everything is coming together. Yeah, so the knees are coming together yeah. and separate the go out. Think. Yeah, it's a good way to see it. Yeah, you can come in and go out. Yes, especially. Thank you. Well done, Rick. So you remember, you have the C, you have the displaced turn, you have the turn underneath yourself, and you have the rebound of the hip. Martin, fíjate, pon tu mano en tu cadera y mantener cuando haces el rebote, empuja tu cadera para abajo. Ahí te muestro. From your chest. Uh huh. Go, yeah, good. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. And now bring the knees and then sit. There you go, Primos. Wonderful. And now, as you do that, send the weight into the front of your foot. Send the weight on top of these two points. And then when you want to go back, push it into your heel. And now push it back. Push it. There you go, Primos. That was wonderful, man. That was excellent. Well, well done. Well done. Well done, everybody. Okay, very good. So we've run out of time, but no problem. We have a few minutes to answer some questions and review what we, what we went over in the class here in Zoom. But for now, we have to say goodbye to the people in YouTube. Uh, thank you very much for coming. But before that, Dulce, you have something to tell the fine people in YouTube? For example, next Thursday at 4 p.m., you have technique class with Dana in this very same room. Friday. <laughs> uh oh, we're looking. At it. <laughs> uh, on Friday, we have a musicality class with Raul and Caroline. And on Saturday, we have the full program. Everybody knows about yoga, contemporary dance class, tango, and folklore class. Saturday, the full day of the United Tango online. And uh, if you haven't donated, please head over to Embrace Tango Workers and donate to participate. You can win, a, win one of these classes, um, which we'll be raffling off this Saturday. Is that correct, Luce? This Saturday in the group class? Yes, so we gave away two, one, uh, two uh, of these classes last week and uh, this Saturday at 2 p.m. in the Tango Advanced class, Dan and I will be giving a, a raffling away two more hours of these wonderful teachers that have donated um, to Embrace Tango Workers, which is helping Tango professionals weather this storm. So thank you very much for everybody on YouTube. Please, of course, like, of course, subscribe. And please think about coming one day and attending the classes in Zoom if it's possible for you to do so. Thank you very much. See you next time, YouTube.